Hit hard by falling incomes, Europe's farmers see biofuels as the way forward. Stuart West runs this farm in the south of England. Encouraged by the EU's biofuel ambitions, he says he'll convert his 250 hectares to meet the demands of the growing industry, if the price is right. I would grow as much grain as I physically can. Um, at the present time, uh, I grow enough to sustain the farm. Um, but with prices increasing, then yes, uh, I try and grow, grow some more. And if um, we were sort of pushed towards growing more, obviously, rape or more wheat that we went into fuels, uh, that can only be a good thing for farmers. But what will benefit farmers in Europe could be robbing the people of Africa and Asia. The EU wants 10% of its transport fuel to come from biofuels by 2020. However, to meet that target, it will have to import more grain. Already, millions of hectares in developing countries are being converted to grow crops, not to feed the population, but to fuel the West. Charities are warning of disastrous consequences. A lot of those biofuels will be made from food crops, and some of those will be staple foods, such as maize and wheat, that are consumed by poor people in developing countries. So as biofuel demand pushes up food prices, this means that poor people will be able to afford less of the food that they rely on. And we are predicting, because of the EU consumption, the increased EU consumption by 2020, up to 100 million more people may be pushed into hunger as a result. In Europe, people are already buying biofuel at the pump. Petrol and diesel is blended with 3.5% of the low-carbon alternative. And as oil prices soar, interest from the aviation industry is also taking off. With the EU racing to embrace biofuels, there's going to be more support for small-scale production like what's proposed here. But for industrial production, critics warn the numbers don't add up. By substituting our fossil fuels, we will significantly reduce the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. But that has to be weighed up against converting the land to plant these crops and the fertilizers needed to grow them, because they release nitrous oxide a greenhouse gas 300 times more damaging than carbon dioxide. Biofuels on an industrial scale may not be the ethical energy solution they first appeared. The EU is now facing calls for a rethink on its policy before they travel too far down the wrong route. Because like the effects of the climate change it's trying to tackle, reversing won't be easy. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, in the south of England.